Hello, Arc Matter here, and welcome to the show. It's been raining here. Actually, it rained maybe two inches or more, which is good. I haven't seen much rain in our area. Really, we haven't. So, why are we here today? Let's get the shout-outs out of the way real quick. Three Geeks Network. Make sure you check them out. They're on YouTube. They're a great bunch of guys. They will make your side hurt. Sometimes, unless they're fighting. <laughs> well, anyhow, also, uh, Nerdbot Media, make sure you check them all out. They're on Instagram and other social media. AMJ Productions, great YouTuber, young guy from my area. Make sure you check him out. He's got all the green screen stuff. It's cool. I just do what I can do. That's it. I'm just a basic nerd. <laughs> so, and also the XDA for all the tablets I'm currently not doing. Make sure you check out the XDA. Great bunch of people. Sign up, get on the forum, find yourself a friend. They'll help you out with lots and lots of really cool stuff. Last and but not least, Cosplay Powers. Make sure you check them out on Instagram. Give your cosplay powers. Yes, they will. So, this is part two of the 75 cent Walmart, I guess I could say they were squirt guns, uh, changeover from squirt gun to assault weapon. I guess you could say an assault weapon, a type of assault weapon. So here it is. So this was the beginning. I plasti dipped it. Of course, don't paint your tips. Oh, I gotta take that off of there. Don't paint your tips over if you can't. Uh, so that you're, they're orange, which this one has a little bit of the black on it, just twist it around. But as you can see, I still have the orange as much as I could. That indicates the security when you come in that the weapon is not real. So there it's all plastic dip. This stuff is just, <laughs> plastic dip is great. Uh, it's very, uh, the chemicals are really bad though, so you always gotta make sure you do the plastic dip outside. If you can, you must do it outside if you have all possible. If you do it inside, make sure you have a well-ventilated area. Well-ventilated. So. This is what it looked like when I plastic dip it, and, and uh, that's what, so, like that. Sorry, the bread's in the way. <laughs> so anyhow, after I got done of uh, a couple days of just messing around with it and tried to distress it some, give it a little bit of color, uh, put the little tabs here, I put a little bit of red in there, and then of course try to make a little, little, bit, little bit of red like blood type from your hands. If you're fighting, I put some up here, I'm like you bonk somebody with it. And maybe some blood would be in your hands from because it is battle, uh, battle weapon. So here it is all around and around. So this is kind of where we're at. And there, a little bit there, like blood look there. Have your hand up on it in there. From there, try to distress it and age it as best I could. Just 75 cents and trying to use some of my uh, folk art paints. And I used a couple of different little paints, uh, which was the painter's paint, which is Walmart stuff. So. Try to do the stuff the cheapest way I can. I use paper to kind of mix my colors up. So I go very cheap. And I was working on this mask too, just messing around, trying to make a mask, a paintball mask. Try to make it look a little bit like it's been battled too. So I think that's going to kind of wrap it up. Um, I don't really have much else to talk about. Uh, except for the fact that this was part two to finish thing up. I don't know if I'm going to do anything else to these. I just wanted to, learning experience wise, see if I could find something, you know, pretty cheap and see, you know what, let's see what I can do with 75 cent, uh, squirt gun or whatever, nerf gun or whatever, and stress it up a little bit, paint it, plastic dip it first, and see what, um, what happens at the end. I'm very, 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 very happy with the way it came out. These things do the uh, video does not do these things justice. I'm trying to get a stand up there. The video and the pictures, some of the pictures I took on Instagram don't don't do justice. That they came out pretty dang good. They if you had them in side straps, because I I was thinking maybe not to actually hold them up unless you were doing some photos. But I was thinking that if you had side uh, pouches or side uh, arm things for them. I can't even think. Hosters. <laughs> Gun hosters for the side of your leg or whatever. Or your, you can maybe put them in a back hoster arrangement on your back or something. They would look pretty cool. As like, oh, you got weapons to go with your cosplay. So I guess that's going to do it. This So this finishes up part two of this, and this is done. I'll finish up the other gun off and on through the week. So please like, please subscribe, 
Uh, thanks for hanging out with me, and I will catch up with you all later.